just gently, I'm not mixing this, I'm just kind of folding, folding this in. Alright, thank you Dave. So, I'm making some stick blender hot process soap. I am trying to get a, samp a fall sampler set done. And I need to get my booty moving. Yep. Uh, Gina and I today shipped 50 orders. And we have the... 38 more to do tomorrow. <sighs> we got so many orders, we were overwhelmed. Why don't you get the soap squad? Thank working? you very much. We appreciate it. Had my soap squad, my lady soap squad here with Jamie and Gina and Donna helping me out to get Micah's packed. Karen is not really super spicy. Tara made it no, pretty huh? mild. I make it pretty mild, but you can make it as spicy as you want. It doesn't have to be whatever. So, okay, so I've heated up my oils and I'm trying to get my oils to around, where'd my, oh, <gasps> to around 195 degrees. Ooh, and I'm right there. Okay. <laughs> Barb said I made Mike's enchiladas tonight for dinner. Boy, oh boy, I forgot the taco seasoning in the burger. Then I put a whole small can of chilies in the burger. I fixed it and it was edible, but man, was it ever spicy. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see. Dave, can you point down for this? I've got my kale and clay in here, which we have for sale. Ginger says 43 is nothing. I'll be 75 in a month. Wow, good for you, Ginger. Okay, I'm just mixing up my kale and clay. All right, there we go. So now, I'm going to mix my lye and my water. Uh-oh. Dad, stop breathing. Go stop close. breathing. I'm gonna move my food away. Okay, <laughs> move that. Okay. There we go. Just get that all stirred in really well and dissolved. Stand back because the lye can be Fatal. fuming. Not fatal. Yeah. It can, it can fume. Bring your brains out. Oh, Dave. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, so we're just dissolving my lye in my water. Okay. Then I'm rinsing out. Rinsing out my lye bucket. Okay, so then I'm going to add my lye water and my oils together. There we go. Very nice. Okay, and then we're going to blend this and watch the magic happen. Okay. So now we've got it to a nice trace. Then, we're going to take my other bucket. My buckets have gotten etched. I need new buckets. Kathy says, I love how close you and your sister-in-law are. So sweet. Aww. Wait, what? You and Aunt and Sheila are close? Yeah. Boy, this is... Okay, I did not get this to trace well enough. Hold on. Is this hot process or cold? Ellen is asking. Hot. <laughs> Chili powder. Oh no. All right, there we go. That's much better. Okay, so 
So now we're gonna let this do its thing and get hot and get all bubbly. And while we're doing that, I'm gonna clean up my little spill here. Now, we're gonna let this get all warm and bubbly. And while we're doing that, uh, Teresa, the cookbook is $21.95 <clears throat> and the shipping is free right now. Um, and you can also get an ebook version if you'd rather, and that's $14.95. $14.95? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so while this is cooking, we're gonna cut a couple of bars of my autumn wreath. I got this listed. I apologize. I had a problem with the shipping and I got it fixed. And okay, so let's get this one cut and see what we have. <laughs> Heather's having tacos for dinner. Ooh, yum. Darlene is asking, are the soaps you made last week for sale yet? Yes, they are. Now, they won't ship, and I think I forgot to put that on there. They're not going to ship until next week. Okay, that's my fault. Ooh, autumn wreath. Ooh, loving nice. it, loving it. <coughs> this one turned out really pretty. Ooh, I love all those colors. What do you guys think? Did anybody like it? Did anybody give me a thumbs up? Oh, on the soap? Let me look and see. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Any <laughs> thumbs ups? Any thumbs ups? Surely somebody's got to give me a thumbs up. Everyone's oh, there they are. Yay! It usually takes a moment to let me switch over there to see Okay, that. so I'm going to oh, cut, cut one more. That soap is beautiful. Love it. Fall is my favorite season. Mine too. I honey? love fall. Gorgeous soap. You may. Yeah. Very pretty soap. Do, wait, do we have any honey? Yep. It's right there. Yeah, it's over there. So that is fall autumn wreath, guys, at homemadesoapmakingsupplies.com. And then and we have our pumpkin. This one's frosted <coughs> pumpkin. Loving how this turned out too. Let's cut this one real quick before my other stuff gets going crazy. Some of the people spamming the thumbs up emojis and YouTube. Ooh, look guys. That one's backwards because I put my pumpkin on the wrong way, but let's try this one. Here What's we go. The scent? This one is frosted pumpkin. Oh, I'm loving it. Frosted pumpkin. Okay. Oh, Here, so smell frosted pumpkin. Oh man. Wait, let me smell that. Oh, that smells good. It smells like Christmas. It smells like Christmas? Well, Doesn't it's it? spicy. It's like a pumpkin or maybe pie. Thanksgiving yeah. or something like that. It's a pumpkin pie. Okay, guys. Jennifer There's says, frosted pumpkin. Jennifer says, You are so creative. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so my things are about to start poofing, so I'm gonna get back over here. All right. Christine wishes she lived in the U.S. so she could buy your soap supplies. Oh, hey. thanks. Okay, Jack, Dave, show Jack for just a minute. Jack's gonna be the testimonial. What do you think of the sopapillas? I think you know my answer. Are they sopapilla perfection? They're going fast. Who's the best mom in the whole world? They're Man. soap. Nan! What do you mean, Nan is mom, the best mom? Mom, you wouldn't mom be here if Nan world. wasn't there. He's I'm just, sure I am. So he's messing with Tara. Nan wasn't there. Barb wants to know if you'll be making any lavender soap in the near future. Actually, I am. So for this, um, Dave, you got to get on the job. So for oh. this, um, oh, so for this sampler set, I'm doing an autumn sampler set. And I'm going to have eight soaps, sample soaps for $25. Whoa! Oh, no. Hold on. Here we go. Woo! Almost missed it. Okay. Did you get my oil over here? Your Dear? oil? Okay. Oh, I, got, I got that, yeah. So I'm doing eight 
fall soaps, I've got, let's see, what do I have? I have autumn wreath, I have frosted pumpkin, spearmint eucalyptus, bubble gum, which is good, la lavender mint, um, pomegranate, and I can't remember the last one or two. Christine says you make amazing soap. Thank you, Christine. Aw, oh, thanks so much. So I'm going to try and get these done today and tomorrow, and then they will be ready to ship hopefully in two and a half weeks. Okay, so this one's getting ready to go right there, guys. Isn't that looking good? Oh, and Dave wanted us to mention that the bubble gum soap was really good. You could, it's, mm. it smells just like bubble gum, doesn't it? It's really amazing, yeah. Mom. What? How many soaps are we allowed to have? Three. Okay, this is the last one. Oh, oh guess what? I forgot in the oven. The rice. Oops. This is an inopportune moment to remember the rice in the oven. No. Sorry. Dog was pulling. He's pulling okay. the internet cable off. Uh, dog, dog, dog. He's wondering. Okay. Still there, so. Cheese. Man. But. Everything smells so amazing. Mm -hmm. Television needs to be a thing. Yes, it does. This one doesn't smell very, really well. I don't what? smell it. This, I haven't put the fragrance oh. in. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm I still smelling the food. <laughs> Love, love the soaps. Oh, hey, Danny wants to know when you were doing the other soaps, what was the first scent? Autumn wreath and frosted pumpkin. I don't have pictures yet. Dave's going to have to take pictures after the show. Oh, come on. <laughs> Cassidy says, made my first SBHB soaps this week. Yay, did it work out good for you? What's the SB for? Well, this one's going... Stick blender, hot process. Oh, yay. I knew HP, but I didn't know SB. Because mm -hmm. I'm a noob. Okay, it's driving me crazy that I got some water down my glove and it has been dripping down my arm this entire thing. Stuff like that drives me nuts. <laughs> Dave thought I was going to miss that one, huh? <laughs> I got Dave on pins and needles back here. Stop. Now look at this one. No. <laughs> Am I making you nervous, Dave? It's just a little bit. Man, it got so bad. So, I am only going to have 32 of these sampler sets. So, when I announce that they're for no. sale and you want them, I wouldn't hesitate because I'm only going to have 32 for the fall sampler set. Tita is here from Chile. Ooh, welcome! She says in Chile we also have some papillas, but we add pumpkin to the dough, so it's sort of orange. Oh, yum. That would be delicious. Dave? Huh? I forgot my boxes of colors. Can you go bring them from your room, please? Box of colors? Yeah. And Which on the floor. The ones in the floor. 
And also the titanium dioxide in the shaker bottle. Wait, where are you? They're in your room. On the floor. There's two boxes. So you can go to homemade soap making supplies.com and get the soap making supplies that I use. This is mashed potato stage and you can see this is turning to applesauce stage and then we're going to go to Vaseline right in here you can see some Vaseline when it's Vaseline it's completely done as soap. Jennifer wants to know do you know how much the sampler set is yet? $25 for eight samples. Well, Valerie wants to know when does that stop uh, blowing up? When it is turned to soap and we are almost there. So I think we're there. So I'm going to let this sit for a few minutes. Get it stirred. Yep, still have a little bit of mashed potato. I need that to turn to applesauce and then vanilla or then Vaseline. It's looking good. Looking good, looking good. Okay. All right, now we're gonna let this sit for just a few minutes and finish cooking while we pick out our colors. So, I was gonna show you guys some of my colors while we're waiting here. Mm. Okay, so this no, one's, wanna... this fragrance is uh, Spearmint Eucalyptus. So I'm gonna have white. But then, I don't know, what about that pine green? Uh, add a little bit of white to that. So you're having a lot more questions. <clears throat> They're asking you to repeat how much the sampler set is and can we pre-order it? And basically they just want to know a little more about it. Well, I don't have it on pre-order. Okay, I'll try and get it on pre-order for Wednesday's show, okay? I'll do that. And then... Um, I was gonna wait until they're done curing, but I'll just let you go ahead and do that. I'm only gonna have 32 for fall, just because I'm behind getting the soap making supplies store open. So, um, so um, I am making, <laughs> here's my seafoam green, love that one. And I'm trying to decide what I want for spearmint eucalyptus. Would that be good for the spearmint? Jamie says if they get your mica, no. they'll get the best packed mica out there. Yes, Jamie helped pack it and she did a great um, job. This would be the spearmint. No, this would be the eucalyptus. This one should be. For what? Which one? Spearmint? Uh, I feel like spearmint, yeah, because you know, have you seen the gum? This looks just like that color on the gum. It's or I've got forest. Hmm, let's see. This one's okay. Blue sea, that would pistachio. be pistachio. That looks pistachio. Well, when you were doing your aqua, oh, yeah. those are pretty. Aqua. When you were doing your volcanoing, people said you need two stick blenders at the same time. You did the other day, didn't you? Yeah. She was really great, going yeah, crazy. Yeah, going with crazy. It. Okay, so this one I'm gonna use for the spearmint. There's my mint. Now eucalyptus. What should I use for eucalyptus? I want something really contrasty. Hmm. Okay, so if this is spearmint. Hmm. I think I'll do these two. Lucy and mint green. So the sets that are going to be in the sampler are... And I don't remember all of them off the top of my head. Spearmint eucalyptus, autumn wreath, frosted pumpkin, Lavender Mint, 
pomegranate, blood orange. Whoa. Did I say lavender mint? And I can't remember the other two. Blood orange? Like, like the food? <clears throat> yep, orange? like the food blood orange. So right? a lot of people are saying in the comments they would like to order a sampler set. Do you need to send you an email and hear what you said? No, so I'll put it up for list. I'll try. Oh, I should know better than to do this. I opened my big mouth before I'm ready, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, I still love you, my love. <laughs> hey, at least I admit it. Well, but 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 it works, you know. <laughs> so please take it. So I'm supportive, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll try and get the sampler set up tomorrow. Hopefully, in between shipping the rest of the orders for our grand opening sale. Um, yeah. I'll try and do that so it'll be ready for Wednesday's show. Did, am I supposed to share the recipe for the soap? Yes, you can share my soap recipe. I also have a How to Make Soap for Beginners e-course, guys. If you want a How to Make Soap for Beginners <coughs> e-course, I have that. Okay, so now I'm adding my shea butter in so that it will melt nicely. Uh, so this is my super fat. Oh, I should go down again. Um, forgot. Doesn't matter okay. if the super fat is done before or after. Oh, Dave's been listening. I know someone's going to say it. Oh, that was Dave asking the question? Yes. <gasps> Jonathan! He's been on, yeah. He's on Facebook now. Yay! Oh, he's on Facebook now. Okay, so those of you who won my free micas, we haven't forgot you yet. We just have to get the orders out first. Just didn't want you to think that we'd forgotten you. Okay, so I'm getting my shea butter all in here and get it all melted. Ooh, lots of people are saying forest green. Did I miss that? Is that what Jamie was talking about? You guys like the forest green better? Lots of forest green. Forest green and mint. Forest green and blue sea. Maybe forest green and blue sea. Okay, you guys tell me what combination you want. We'll do it. Okay, yay, my shea butter's getting melted, all nice and <coughs> beautiful. Okay. Now, for this batch, what I'm doing is making two loaves. One loaf I'm going to cut up into 32 for my samplers, and the other loaf is going to be big bars for people to buy. So that's how I'm going to do that. Um, you can get my soap micas at homemadesoapmakingsupplies.com. Once again, thank you to my wonderful friends, Jamie and Donna, for helping me get started. I called them in a panic last week and said, um, can you come help me? <laughs> Tara was saying this is going to take a lot longer than I thought. <laughs> oh, man. I did not know packing micas would be such a labor-intensive project. Tara wants to know, will you be shipping the fall collection to England? Yeah, I can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can. The shipping's kind of high, but I can if you want. Okay, so we're getting cooled off here. So I'm going to add my goat's milk and um, um, yogurt. Yes, my son? People want to know, do you have a coral reef blue equivalent? Um, coral reef. Let me look, just one second here. Let me get my yogurt and goat's milk in. I don't know, would this be, is this kind of blue sea? Is that what you're kind of thinking of? I'm not quite sure yeah, what color little... you're wanting. <clears throat> there we go. Sorry, a little bit crazy. <laughs> you have a special request okay, after this. Okay, what's the special okay. request? Would we be greedy asking for a birthday song for Nina today? She turns five on Wednesday. It'll be Thursday here in Sydney when you go live. She uh, loves your perky version of the birthday song. <laughs> she wants it to now or on Wednesday? I think I think she's asking now. I don't know if, if I think Nina's probably watching now. Yeah, we like can that. do it, Nina. Just one second. Let me get this stirred <clears> in, of course. <laughs> 
Darren says we should send soap stuff to UK. Yeah. Well, shoot, Darren. If I would have known you were going to be here, I could have shipped it to where you were. How long are you going to be here? <laughs> um, and I could ship it for you. Do we have any at our East Coast warehouses? <laughs> no. <clears throat> Which Mike is joking about. <laughs> I was thinking, do you have some friends that we could have send it and then we could replenish theirs? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm mixing my yogurt and goat's milk and then we're gonna sing happy birthday and then I'm gonna get finished. Hold on. Well, Aurelia is asking, watching the video late, do you strain the oil through cheesecloth and then put it in the fridge? I usually do, or a strainer. I don't, I don't, I'm not real particular. Sometimes crumbs get in there, so I'm not real, real particular, but. Nina, lots of people are saying happy birthday to you here. Happy birthday, Nina. Okay, so now it's getting more fluid. See how that beautiful fluidity. And I'm gonna add my fragrance. And I got just a little too much on that side, so I'm gonna add just a little bit more there. Could you carbonate your soap? I don't think that would be good for soap. By I don't know. By putting Sprite in there and it makes bubbles that are interesting that would be interesting like for sure spongy soap or something christine says you have a great voice tara <laughs> oh thank you um okay so now i'm mixing in my fragrance and yes my arm is about to fall off Whew. okay now get these mixed in people want to know if you have a coral reef blue equivalent yeah, we already discussed that. Oh, did you? Sorry. I never found if her answer, if that's what you're looking for. I don't know. Is that what you're looking for? Oh. Jamie says green apple was what we were thinking of changing to lagoon. Green apple sounds better. Oh, yeah. Lagoon sounds like uh, that lake over there by Safeway, Frederick, right now. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Okay, getting it all mixed in nice and yummy. Smells delicious. Okay, so now we're going to divide it up for our colors. So we've got, ugh. all right, so there's one green and now we have another green. Hold on, we need like 10 more feet of counter space. Timmy says there's a mistake on the homemade soap making supplies page. It says mistake soap. Is that a, is that a mistake? Yeah, no, that's not a mistake. <laughs> that is a mistake soap. So what happened on that soap? The fragrance did not hold. So it is very lightly scented. So it is a discount. Oh, she says, oh. So it's discounted. Oh, no, she says it says it doesn't sell at all like Dream Sickle, but it should be it doesn't smell at all. Oops. Oh, that. Okay. Sorry, I, I, didn't, I didn't, will didn't go in and whole. fix that. Sorry, I didn't read the whole thing at first. Do you want me to send you a message? No, I'm sure. Hold on, I need to wash my hands off. Uh-oh, that's not good. Okay, so what did we decide? Forest and blue sea, maybe. So now my hands are all wet. Oh my goodness, what girl put this on? Wait, what, the ladies put those on? Woo! Ooh, oh. So these are our jars that we got for two ounces. I don't know, maybe and the mica's dangerous. No, <laughs> just, micas are not dangerous. Just, do you want me to put it in something so it's not wasted? Uh, we could just drop it in this one. It's poison. And um, we... Ooh, look, my skin is like the... Like there you go. one of those characters on The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> um, <laughs> And our two ounce jars leaked, so we have more two ounce jars on the way. I'm pre-mixing this in oil just to get it dissolved. Really nice. Looking good. Okay, can you see that? Yep. I'm loving it. Okay. There we go with that. And then for this one. Somebody may or may not have snuck over there and had a spoonful of that Spanish rice. Uh-oh, is the Spanish rice good? Mm-hmm. Yay. Because I asked the guy who did it. You did? Mm-hmm. You got permission from him? <laughs> yep. Okay. All right. Are you guys liking our new shorter videos that I've been coming up with? 
We've been trying to do some shorter videos in between the long live shows. If you're liking the shorter videos, let me know. Okay, oops, flung that all over. Now this is already soaked, that's why I don't have gloves on anymore. It is hot, so I need to be careful that I don't touch it just for heat wise. But it is already soap. So we could wash with this right now, but it's best to let it sit two weeks to cure. Sorry guys, my fibromyalgia is getting the best of me here. Um, uh, all right. So here is the yucca. No, this is the spearmint. Pretty color. <laughs> Needs to be bluer. Not quite bluish enough. You need it more green? Blue. More blue. Just a little bit more blue. Just a pinch of blue. Okay, so there's that one. Now <coughs> get this one. Ooh, that's pretty. Janine says I wonder if a pastry blender would help. That's quite a workout, says Becky. Uh, pastry blender? Probably not. Uh, I don't know. That's uh, a good question, actually. You know, we should sell the Red Bulls, but we don't. A lot of, a number of people are still asking. You said you got them where? At World Market? Yeah. We have a link on our Amazon page. Do we? Yeah. To the Red Bulls? Uh, well, I sorry. did. On the original one, I did. Okay. Well, let me look. So here is our eucalyptus. I'm liking that, liking that. I'm Very gonna pretty. I'm going to share our recommended items at Amazon here, and then I'm going to go look to see if the Red Bulls are on there. And then my big old mess here. I'm going to add my white. Oh, no. Seriously? <laughs> Figures I would run out. But these Red Bulls are uh, red. Oh, I guess I don't have them on there. I thought I did. Huh. You have okay. To measuring cup, please. All right. Well, that is my fault. Okay, here we go. And then my white. Are you sure you don't want me to mix that? You're getting now instructions from people saying, let Mike do it. No. I don't mind. I seriously don't mind. She used to have me knead all of her bread. Timmy is asking why not use the blender? Um, because it's too thick and it'll burn out the motor. Oh, oh Sagittarian 1955 said that um, I got bowls like she's mixing in now at Dollar Tree. Well, no, these bowls, yeah, these are at Dollar Tree. I thought she meant my red, my fancy red one. Is what you were talking about. Uh, These bowls are I from Dollar Tree. I thought they meant the fancy red one too, but the red measuring cup ones? Yeah, those are Dollar Tree? Yeah. Darren says, uh, actually, I'm not quite sure if this is what he's saying. I think he's saying, have you ever thought of doing shower gels and hand wash? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> I have so much going on. You've done so I just don't know if I could get it done. In one of our older videos, weren't you making hand wash out of something else? Seems like you made some at the table over here. Maybe I'm thinking of some. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I Sorry. did. Excuse me. Oh, Good yeah. Minute. Dave on live. Sorry. Thanks, I'm Dave. Sprite. Everybody wants to hear that. Hey, out of Goshen. Out of Goshen. Hello. Hey, out of Goshen. I saw you guys heading to Ohio today. Happy I know New you're Year. probably already back in Michigan by now, but. Happy oh, yeah. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. It's Rosh Hashanah, right? Well, he didn't say anything. Is it the start of it already? It starts tonight. Oh, well, there you go. In fact, it's too bad Annika was not. We could tell her. There you go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I didn't get all my colors Aww. quite mixed up enough. All right. There's that one. And then I'm going to add this one. This is called an in-the-pot swirl. And what I'm doing is going to just gently mix 
all three of these in the pot. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations, Tara, for remembering the fragrance. Thank you, whoever said that. Must have been Donna or somebody. Jamie. Okay. Now, I'm just gently, I'm not yeah, mixing this. Things. I'm just kind of folding, <laughs> folding this in. Okay. Now, I have my beautiful molds that I love. This is my one from Daryl here. You can get this one here. This one's amazing. With the hinges, I love it because the soap just slides right out the end. I just take off the end with the hinges. Got several orders for those for my grand opening. And I know they are going to love them. And they are done. If you ordered one, they are done. And we're going to try and ship them tomorrow or Wednesday Ooh, for you. These? The molds. Oh, the molds. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, they're the ones that Gerald makes? Yep. Nice. Yep, yep, yep. Is he okay. going to be back ordered? He said too many people over there. But no, they're really, he's doing good so far. They're really nice. Okay. So now I'm just going to start... Putting in some of my soap. <clears throat> okay. There we go. What do you guys think of my colors? Give me a thumbs up or a like or share or something. Somebody's got to like something, right? Yes. Is anybody liking anything? Well, I'm getting a lot of positive comments. I just clicked over to Facebook so I don't see if there are hearts and thumbs ups yet. Oh, there's some hearts and thumbs ups. Yay. Yeah, when I click over to the other tab, it takes a moment for them to show up. See, there you go. Yay. Getting lots of thumbs ups and hearts. Thank you guys. <laughs> All right. What fragrances are you mixing together? Or, that this one person. was spearmint eucalyptus. That looks really good. Thank you. Wow. And I didn't even pay you to say that. <laughs> Nancy says I'm hooked. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Nancy. Jeannie says you've done an amazing amount of work tonight. Don't wonder you're tired. Actually, today I have been going since 7 o'clock and I am pooped. I am pooped. I am pooped. Okay. Now, all this little extra bits, I'm going to scrape this out and make into soap rocks. Um, but I won't do that on the show tonight since we went super, super over. But I got to get my soap made and you guys like watching it, so I'm like, okay, go ahead. Um... Okay, so now I'm going to pound this down, get out air bubbles, Release your rage oops, oh dear, I didn't tighten my thing. Okay. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is to finish off for my top. I'm going to put some white on the top. And then on Wednesday's show, I am going to cut this for you guys. Take a spoon that has mica on it. Oops. And then we're going to spread this around. Okay. Any questions while I finish up? Oh, Janet says, such a family friendly show. You're such nice people. Thank you, Janet. Oh, thanks. Uh, Tara, when are you going to use the shelf liner you bought for your soaps at IKEA? Uh, actually, I was cutting it today, but I just ran out of time. So maybe Wednesday's show, I will do it. I got started 
and I just frankly did not have enough time to get them cut so we'll see I don't know if it's gonna work I have no idea I want them for this mold here everyone's loving the soap oh thanks guys by the way uh, you can order these at homemade soap making supplies.com and my friend Daryl who makes them to family homestead he is going to be live tonight at 9 Eastern. Oh, Two Family yes. Homestead on YouTube? Yes, we love Two Family. I never get to watch them hardly because I'm so worn out from the show that I'm usually in the tub about the time that they are on. <laughs> bring the computer in the tub. I well, should. Yeah, I should bring the computer in the tub. I mean, How do you think that I've would go doing. over here? I've been watching I've always, YouTube videos in the tub. I've been always afraid that she would electrocute herself with the tub with the okay, no there wouldn't be enough voltage the tub the, the computer is not actually in the tub it's she puts it on the ledge adjacent to the tub what no i don't oh, wait, I, no, no, I, thought, I put it on a it? trash can outside of the tub oh i thought you got a chair no. or something Mardella yeah, can't wait to see it cut can. so that's spearmint eucalyptus guys i'll try to get